Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of How To with me, Gamer Lad. Today I'm going to be showing you how to export the audio only from your video clips in Sony Vegas. And I've had a few requests um, for this, so I thought I'd post a video on it. Now I'm using Sony Vegas Pro 13, but this works with any Vegas, so don't worry. Now here I've got a clip, as you can see, if I press play me gamer lad and today we're going to be doing another photoshop tutorial and it's just basically me doing a, a photoshop tutorial on how to change wall colors on your house interior now the audio for this video as standard as you can tell wasn't a very good quality i'll let you have a listen now guys and welcome back to another episode with me gamer lad and today we're going to be doing another photoshop tutorial there was quite a bit of clipping and quite a bit of popping in that audio as I did not use a pop filter, I didn't have all my equipment handy and I recorded it using a simple basic dictaphone. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to export that audio and to alter it using Audacity. So what I do is if you go over to the left hand side here where you've got your tracks where you've got your audio and video tracks. The only audio track I want to export is this one, as it's the only one available. What I want to do is make sure that the video track at the top, if I click on the mute icon, which is the blue circle with a line through it, as you can see, the video has now been shut off. There is no preview. That track is now redundant. It's as if it is not even there. So all Sony Vegas is reading at the moment is this audio track. Now, if I add multiple audio tracks, let's just show you like that. If I was to export now, it would export both tracks combined. And this is what you would have. Another episode with me, Gamer Lad, and today to we're go going to be doing another Photoshop layer. But I don't want that, you see. So I'm also going to mute this track. So the only track visible now is this one, track two. Another way to do it, if you've got a video that you've rendered and you've got, say, let's say 10 tracks, you know, I'll just keep on adding more and more and more to, so we've got six tracks now so let's unmute that so if I was to export now it would export all five of those audio tracks the quickest way to single one out I want track two to be exported so if I click on this exclamation mark here solo it mutes all the other audio tracks in the clip bar that one then what you want to do is go up to the top left and click on file and then go down to render as. Now this time you'll be greeted with a different output format than you used to. You are greeted with audio formats as opposed to video formats. The reason being Sony Vegas has detected that there's no video in the project as it's been muted. So. What I want to do is I want to have it as a .mp3 file, I click on that, and you've got your different qualities here. I mean, I usually go with a 256 um, kilobits per second, but whatever you choose is up to you. You can customize it by clicking and then clicking customize template, and you can choose any bit rate you wish. You can put the quality up, you can have it stereo, dual channel, you, the, the choices are up to you. So I'm going to select 256 kilobits per second, click render. Now it already exists because I've already made this file, so I will rename it Untitled 1. Render. And it's really quick when rendering audio, it's just basically saving that audio track. Uh, there's no animations, no no image to render, so it doesn't really take that long. Okay, we're at 100%, so if I click open, it will open in Groove Music, and here is a rendered file. Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode with me, Gamer Lad, and today we're going to be doing another Photoshop tutorial. Today, we're... And that's that, it's as simple as that. 
that file is now ready to transfer over to Audacity for me to edit and make it a lot clearer. Take, take a bit of the popping out, a bit of the clipping out. And um, then what I would do is redrop it into my project media, drag it back down. Obviously, I'd get rid of all these. Drop it back down into track two, get rid of that one. And re-render my video with the higher quality audio track. So yeah, that's it. Hope you like the video, guys. Hope it's been of use to you. If you've liked it, please don't forget to smash the hell out of that like button because that will help me. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more how-tos and more gaming videos. I'm also doing Photoshop tutorials now. Again, thanks for taking time out of your day to watch my video. I really appreciate it. I'll see you again.